All right, I am here at the Grandfather Mountain State Park with my son for another little overnight camping adventure. This time we're actually gonna try to grab a, a peak called Callaway Peak um, in the morning. We're gonna stay the night up the Nuwadi Trail, um, which is right down this way. Um, if you ever do come up here, there's a kiosk near the Boone Fork parking area, about a quarter mile away from the parking area. We have to fill out your form. You have to have reservations for the campsite ahead of time. You can do online, but then when you get here, you fill out another form, I guess tell them that you're actually here and uh, got to put your reservation number on that fun stuff. So uh, we've got all that done and are ready to start our walk tonight. Kind of getting a little bit of a late start for this time of year. It's about 3.15, so we only got a couple hours of light, but we're only walking about two miles today. Um, and then we'll get an early start in the morning and it uh, should be a cold early start. <laughs> Supposed to be 32, 34 degrees in the morning in Blowing Rock, which is the closest little town. And we're already going to be about a thousand feet above that, so it may be below freezing. We'll see. Uh, but supposed to have good weather, at least no rain scheduled for this weekend. Anyway, more to come. All right, so this is kind of what the Nuwani Trail looks like. I think I'm saying that right. If you look over here, you can see some rock bluffs across this little open area. We came here back in the summer and with all the leaves on the trees, you couldn't really see the surrounding mountains very well. But when the last time you come, you came here, over here, you saw a bear in the bushes? You did? <laughs> no, that wasn't this trail. That was in the Smoky Mountains, buddy. Very good, very good. <laughs> Star of the show. All right, we've gotten to the junction of the Cragway Trail. Uh, that's the direction we'll be heading tomorrow morning. As you can see, that goes about a mile up to the Daniel Boone Scout Trail. Zoom in a little bit there. Um, and then another 2.7 miles to Callaway Peak, so almost four miles from this point. So we have a pretty good hike ahead of us in the morning. Our campsite's up this direction, but there you can see uh, some of the peaks up there. I think Callaway Peak is technically right back in this way. But, uh, in the last light of the afternoon here on the other side of this ridge. They have really nice signs here. I would have to say. <laughs> but only about a quarter mile left to go to the campsite. My son tries to hurt himself on these rocks before we get there. <laughs> All right, so after kind of an unexpected longer hike off the main trail up to the campsite, we finally found it. Um, I was glad I had studied the map somewhat ahead of time because you had to get all the way up here to find out whether or not you're at the right spot or not. <laughs> it's not and my son's currently exploring around. We got... What is that, buddy? It's, it's not showing for time on a tree, but also, it looks like a tie you wear on your shirt. Oh. And it's like as smooth as a mask. Oh, or a, maybe like mask. a ribbon of some sort? Yeah. Right, so I think we're gonna put the tent right here not the most level spot in the world, but It's better than over there where it looks like water Comes down although we're about 99% sure it's not supposed to rain um, But all together pretty good little campsite plenty of deadfall to have a little fire All right, so Got a little fire going Hopefully That'll continue the wood around here is pretty wet but uh, plenty of deadfall. Good part about this campsite. Little man's in there blowing up camp pillows and air mattresses. But, uh, as you can tell, the 
maybe you can't see it looks pretty light on the camera here but it is uh, it's getting pretty Daddy, dark Daddy. around here Daddy. all right buddy you well yeah I'll get them for you That's, uh, sun's down and probably eat a little dinner and go to the night set don't take that out. That's the only stick. They just that's your, that's your stick there. All right. Fire's still going. Definitely getting darker around here. I think it's only, yeah, it's 5:30 in the evening. <laughs> so, this is that time of year where you crawl in the tent, just because it's getting dark and cold outside. All right, so we got the food hung up there in the tree. Nice cable system here. Not too far from the campsite. Let's see if we can find it in the dark here. <laughs> see a tent, I see a little, little bit of fire left. Good morning. We are packed up. Discovered the water point. Uh, little creek right here. We're only about 100 yards from our campsite. But we are all packed up. <laughs> and ready to go. And somebody is already complaining like a champ. Mainly because Daddy didn't pack up the tent fast enough. But we got about a three and a half to four mile hike this morning up the mountain, up to Callaway Peak. And then we will be headed back down. All right, we're back on the main trail. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty morning at least. There's a big creek down below us. I think that's the headwaters of the Boone Fork, if memory serves. And uh, this new Wadi Trail kind of follows that down to the Tanawa Trail. We're not gonna go all the way back down there today. We'll, until we start to head home, of course. We will be going up the Cragway Trail, which has some pretty nice views about halfway up. I think you're right. I think that is the creek we got water from a minute ago. The All right, so we're less than a quarter mile up the Cragway Trail. My son's trying to kill himself currently. Be careful, buddy. That's far enough. But uh, you kind of come out here to a little pretty nice view. We were camped right down that direction last night. Yeah. Is that the top of the mountain? And that's the mountain we're going to right there. Side of 
No, I don't think so. All right, another little rock outcrop on the Cragway Trail. Another beautiful view of the morning light. Mm, there's a good shot of where we're going today. And this guy would climb every rock face if I let him. Where we're going. Yeah. Keep going, buddy. So do we have less than a mile to go? No. In short. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is about halfway up the Cragway Trail. You come to these bigger rock outcropping here. Almost a 370 degree view. <laughs> and behind you is. It's like that. Looking out that way is towards the Blowing Rock area. And, and you can see maybe some specks of houses out that way. And Blue Ridge Parkway runs right through there. Got the fat man squeeze right here, right? <laughs> Yay, I don't fat. I think this is called flat top rock. Haven't we been here before? I think I remember been Yeah, you've been up here before. If you come up here, this is a pretty cool place for a picnic. Nice and flat, right? Mm -hmm. Little man wants to build a house right here. <laughs> no, I, I said there's no house. Oh, all right. Maybe just a tent. No, nothing. And we're just um, shy I mean, just of the uh, group campsite on the Daniel Boone Scout Trail, which will head up kind of this direction. Take us up toward Callaway Peak, which I think is right behind that tree. Yeah, you barely make it out. It's the tip of it right there. All right, so we're on the switchback section of the trail. Maybe almost through it. But it is a slop fest, as you can see. Mud, mud, and more mud. Even though it hadn't rained up here in a while, this is just what this trail looks like. Most of the time. All right, so we've got to the Briar Patch campsite area. It's back over there. And we stashed my pack, since we'll just be going up to the top and back down about another three quarters of a mile to the top, we think. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully nobody steals my pack. That would be bad. All right, so we're almost to the top and we have found the infamous plane crash site up here on the side of the mountain. I think this happened in the late 70s. Um, and the debris is still in the woods. They've never got it down. You can kind of make out different pieces. Some old porthole there. Maybe this is the side of the fuselage or wing or something. Daddy. Pretty crazy this is still here after 40 plus years. Whoa, what's this? All right, folks, we are getting to the ladders. 
No, probably won't be filming while we're climbing these. Seeing as how I might have to be making sure my son doesn't fall off of them. Uh, this is the start of them. More ladders? All right. We made it up the first set. <laughs> Pretty steep down there. You want me to go first here? All right, come on up. Take a picture. <laughs> come on up, buddy. All right, so it's we got to the, to the top, stay up at the top of them. and there were probably 10 or 15 people up there, and it's not a very large exposed area, so we kind of hung out, ate a candy bar, and uh, stepped back down off the top in this, back in the wooded area, and I think I'm getting drugged back up there now, so we'll see. <laughs> that rope, there's only one car. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Daddy, look down there, that tree right there, with the, with the, um, with no leaves, look. Yeah, I see it. So, that's Grandfather Mountain. That's Hawksbill out there. Blue Ridge Parkway right down here. And that's probably the Mount Mitchell area over in there. Daddy, what's that little gray spot on Alright, so I do have these cables here. I feel like hanging on to something on the way up. And sometimes little traffic jams on the ladder. Daddy, I need to come first. Okay, I'll go first. Is that really like... You're doing awesome, buddy. All right. Okay, so on the way back down, we found the rest of the plane. We just didn't look far enough last time. Pretty crazy that this is still up here after 40 something years. Be careful, it's so sharp, buddy. There's a big piece of it there with like the, maybe part of the landing gear, I don't know. Yeah, this is the back half of it here. Anyway, you can Google this, by the way. It, Grandfather Mountain plane crash, 1970s. <laughs> so this is the high balsam shelter that you can reserve up here as well. And it's kind of a pretty cool area here. I mean, trees are a little too high to have a good view, but... Well, Area to hang out, cook in. I don't think you're allowed to have fires up here, but pretty cool nonetheless. All right, so we had to climb one more cool tree we found here on the trail. We got my pack, and we were headed down. I'm climbing a tree! <laughs> and we should be back to the car in another couple hours, depending on how fast somebody's legs will carry them. <laughs> All right, you ready to go, buddy? If I can climb this tree, Daddy, I bet I can, I bet I can walk. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Don't fall. Huh? All right, so we have left the Flat Rock area, still on the Daniel Boone Scout Trail, and we have about 1.3, 1.2, depending on what map you're looking at, to get down to the Tanawa Trail. We'll hang a left there and go about a mile, maybe a little less back to the car and hopefully that won't take too terribly long as the sun is already going down this time of year or getting close to it and the temperature is already dropping with that uh, overall it's been a good trip we had more people on the trail today than I anticipated but um, a lot of them came from the other side of the mountain at the profile trailhead and then we saw them up 
at the top. It's a lot smaller area at the top than I anticipated. Can't remember if I said that before or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, weather turned out to be awesome. Hardly a cloud in the sky today. Was a little chilly this morning when we woke up, probably in the high 30s if I had to guess. But uh, once the sun got up, it uh, started warming up pretty quick. So all in all, couldn't have asked for a better day. Somebody's getting a little tired though, I think. <laughs> <laughs>